We're actually standing in the Snow Leopard enclosure at the Highland Wildlife Park. And behind me is a group of female with young markhor goats from Central Asia. And they don't live in this enclosure all the time, but uh, about once a month, we allow them to come through to graze the enclosure down and generally leave their scent behind. So the snow leopards at the moment are in their large holding enclosures at the top of the cliff behind me. And um, shortly we'll be moving the mark course back through to their home, which is next door, and letting the snow leopards out. The benefits for the snow leopards are that interesting scents are left behind. And as most carnivores are very focused on the different smells of their environment, in particular of potential prey animals. So this is a, a sort of a low maintenance version of an enrichment technique that many zookeepers use, where they would drag a piece of meat through the enclosure to leave a scent trail for the carnivores to follow. Um, here we actually use the, uh, the living animal to leave its own scent trail. Um, from the Markor's point of view, they come through to an enclosure that has a lot of greenery, which um, they feed on. Animals appreciate a different environment every now and again. It's like the old saying, a change is as good as a rest. They enjoy a new environment as well. And because they're used to coming through here once a month, they all readily come through and explore the entire enclosure. As far as I'm aware, there's no one that does this kind of movement, certainly not with snow leopards and markhor. The idea of enclosure rotation has been taken up by some institutions, but not on, on this type of scale. And, um, and certainly no one in the UK has even come close to approaching this idea.